I feel like I should just edit these videos like they're gonna be nice to look back on months from now let us do this intro hello Habari when you want to hear and right now I am in the Adelaide hey Adelaide <laughs> Right now, I am in the Adelaide Hills, staying at Pavilions at Lenswood, which is a very sleek and modern accommodation. It's a good option for people wanting kind of more modern accommodation in the Adelaide Hills. Referred to as this guy. That is your name. So say hello. I am this guy. <laughs> hello, Barry. I'm that guy. <laughs> It is so beautiful, like the road up here was just winding because we're literally in the hills as the name suggests, you know? It's just going up the hills surrounded by beautiful sceneries, very green, very beautiful. It's, and it doesn't take you that long to get out to here from Yeah, the city. it was very quick. I was like, someone could literally live here and be in Adelaide, like great quality of life, right? Absolutely. Imagine living up in these hills. So we're staying at the pavilions at Lenswood and I'm going to show you guys around. So it is self-check-in over here literally they just give you a code you come and put it in and get your key and then go into the house so it is a self-check-in process it's warm in here did you feel the temperature difference Ooh. this is really nice oh this is like oh this is lovely they have a sign it says wendy we hope you enjoy your stay in the adelaide hills pavilions at lenswood team Check out this accommodation. So this is the room I'm staying in. It's called Merrick. I was just going through the little booklet they have, with the information booklet they have in the room. Apparently, Merrick is a Sabian word for bliss or relaxation or similar to la dolce far niente, the sweetness of relaxation of doing nothing. Sort of. I just the through it. Just coming out of your mouth. <laughs> That's kind of what it means. Um, yeah. So let me show you guys around this beautiful room. It is a beautiful room, right? I'm not exaggerating, am I? It is amazing. It is amazing. Let's show them. Let's not just talk about it. Let's be about it. Let's take them around. From the living room, we move to the kitchen. That's it. Hello there. I should have, I should have been like washing, washing things. Washing like, things. Oh, hello there. Pretending like you were chopping things. About. We didn't even carry food, guys. We were like, we're going to come in and go to a restaurant and eat. And then we got here, we were trying to flip through. Was it? Uber Eats. Uber Eats, right. We then what, to get, what place even just delivers? They don't, right? Nah, you're gonna have to want to head out or maybe bring your own food. That is it. So if you're coming, make sure you carry your own food or be ready to go out to get your food. Because a lot of places here apparently don't deliver. Like there's a fridge here. I'm seeing yogurt, I'm seeing eggs. We could make a proper sandwich. Like we'll make it work. <laughs> they got some stuff here, haven't right? they? Yeah, yeah, yeah they have. But if we're too hungry, then maybe we'll go to one of the places. Like, was it Uraida? What's the word? Oh, you Uraidla. You Uraidla. Or if you're an Aussie, you go, Uraidla, mate. <laughs> we could. Pop on over to, let me see, you ran the bed. <laughs> Whoa, if I close my eyes, I would like, Aussie? there is an Aussie girl in the room. There's like, we have been taken over by the Africans. It's like an African pretending to be Aussie. A jumping test mm. on the bed. So this right here, I hope I don't break this bed. I want to do a jumping test right now. Is this a good idea? Should I? Should I not? Hmm. I saw that there was a section listed damages. Like if I break that bed, I'm going to be paying a pretty penny. <laughs> but it looks so... Um, I wonder if I dive in... Do like a very slow like... I wonder if I should dive in poolside like Michael Phelps. <laughs> or do I dive in through the back like, you know? Or do you like put Maybe one I knee on, test it, put a second like... knee on? <laughs> <laughs> It's getting a bit cold. I have 
have that going. The jacuzzi. I wonder if it's already warm enough. I cannot wait to jump into that. Just pour wine, jump into that and just chill there for a bit. But this nice wooden deck, especially when it's a bit warmer or if you have the appropriate clothing, then it's going to be a nice area to come and chill. And just look at those views. Look at the surrounding. Tell me, tell me if you're still going to be stressed <laughs> in your life if you're in an area like this. If you got to live here, then it doesn't be <laughs> Okay, let's get back in. It's a bit too cold out here. Indeed. Ah, oh, this is nice. It's a heat. It's kind of hard for me to explain personality in everything. In everything. Look at that. Album coming soon. Duet. Not a duet. I will be the like promotional person. I'll be the one in the background of the album. I'll be the one in the back of the album going like, and you're there at the front, like, you know, with the photo like this. <laughs> and I'm there at the back going. I will be like Wendy featuring this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Random Aussie dude. I'll be there for you. I'll be there for you. Wow. Of course, we just happen to have friends playing in the background. Like, I'll be there for you. It's like wherever I go, friends just follows me. That was the high one. They do the high one. Instead of going, I'll be there for you, they go, I'll be there for you. Isn't that nifty? Eh? Ugh, to live in the first world. <laughs> Good morning. So final morning in this beautiful house. Packing up already. And we're going to feed some cows. <laughs> we're going to check out the rest of the property on our way out. Feed some cows and then... Yeah, just head back to Adelaide. It's been an incredible stay. If you're looking for a getaway, if you're looking for a place to get away close to Adelaide city center, you know, definitely consider the Adelaide Hills. How is this a cow? This looks like a buffalo. Yeah, yeah, well, it's probably more akin to what you're used to. Yeah, yeah it looks like a buffalo, even though the size of it. What the heck? <laughs> and then we've got over there, we've got three more miniature goats. Not by safari, but uh, so this is obviously not, not, not what we would take guests to do. But. Yes. And look, the architecture is just based on, I, sort of, I spent a lot of time in Northern Europe. Uh, Wakara alpaca is different to the series. So you've got four Chewpacker, Caroni, and Alfie. It's like a quarter of a cup, but we've just a lot of it. Yeah, kind of, yeah, it's a good combination, yeah. So we just met Aaron, who's the manager and owner of our accommodation where we stayed last night. And he's a really fun guy, he just showed us around the property. The plan now is we're going to Hobbs, no, Cobbs, Cobbs Hill Estate, which Aaron actually recommended. I hear they have amazing Belgian pizza. I don't know if it's Belgian pizza or just pizza. Look, I think we should just, I think we should certainly investigate this purely for scientific purposes. <laughs> um, what do you think? I'm on board with that. So, let us go investigate these pizzas and maybe a glass of wine. Yeah, let us eat. Definitely gonna have myself an apple juice. And oh, yeah? Okay. 